All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, second league of the day. We just got through a fun little league with Soul Ties Shadow, so if that's not out yet, you will see it sometime soon. But we're playing through some Demir Shadow with Null Drifter uh, this league. If you haven't seen this list floating around or this kind of deck floating around Twitter or some of the discords, it was an idea that really got uh, popularized by Ben Jones, I think, was tweeting about it, and Ben Summer was pushing forward a little bit in Discord about this idea that you can run four main deck dress downs, the one in a colorless or one in a blue enchantment with flash removes all abilities that coincidentally makes your death shadow at 13, 13. But in this case, more importantly allows you to go dress down on two into null drifter, the new MH three, not quite staple yet. Uh, seven mana, four, four. When you cast it, you draw two cards, flying, annihilator one, evoke for two and a blue. So with the dress down out, you can evoke your null drifter for two and a blue, draw two cards because it's a cast trigger, not an ETB effect like uh mole drifter is. And then you just get to keep around a four, four flying annihilator one because you don't have to sack it because it no longer has evoke because dress down. So we're going to see if this is uh, worth the hype. Some of the changes we made, we've seen people talking about the list with Tamio or Dress Down. I like Tamio in the list. I'd probably try to find... Or I, let me rephrase that. I don't like Tamio with four Dress Down, but I like Tamio in general as a very good blue one drop. So maybe not so much on tamio if you're really looking at uh the dress down null drifter side of it but i wish we could find room for it but instead we're running like force of negations uh to be able to interact on our opponent's turn so that when we're holding up for this dress down we can still interact when we null drifter and tap out we can interact and with null drifter acting as a form of card advantage for us hopefully that won't hurt uh, the good thing about Null Drifter is if you don't find the dress down, you can still just evoke it, draw two cards, replace itself, have a little bit of card advantage there. So let's see how it goes. I'm blindly optimistic. Sit here and look at our shame from Mistaken. Traxa from Wish.com. We have a Traxa at home. <laughs> There's our 4 4 flyer with no lifelink, no death touch, no draw five, or however many Traxa it happens to hit. What is it? Reveal 10, you get one of every card type. fun but i do think that in the upcoming weeks with uh with modern i think we're gonna see a big boost in shadow decks that are running blue because there's a lot of unfair stuff in the meta right now and i think if you can find a good build that has uh the counter spell packages and something like the scam package I think that that's going to get an even bigger boost because you get not only like an unfair start, but you get the ability to say no to the things that they follow up with. So as soon as we get through a lot of the testing phase, trying out some of these unique interactions and new builds, I'm probably going to be uh, trying to key in on like a Demir scam shadow list. One and zero oh in die rolls. Well, we get to do the thing right off the bat, so the sand's pretty cracked. Turn one, thought seize. Turn two, dress down. Turn three, null drifter. So we're up against uh, Zoo. Now with this Ragavan, that probably means we're going to have to wait until turn 
four to get the Null Drifter down. Maybe. We'll see what we draw. Like, my biggest concern would be them getting to uh, hit something that I actually care about with this Ragavan. So I think I am going to go ahead and fatal push this now, especially now that they've played the triome out pre-combat. Now I can just get like a tapped shock land instead of having to shock myself again. Oh, I should have gotten the undercity sewers. I forgot that was even in the deck. If they want to bolt me, nope. Okay. I like where this is going. Show me a territorial Kavu. Weird looking territorial Kavu. Island, rest down. I'm gonna stub this. Opponent. Opponent. <laughs> why? Why you gotta be like this? <sighs> Out here trying to have fun. Out here trying to, to null drift. We like Icarus flew too close to the sun. All right. Well, we can go get that undercity sewers now. I should have known when, like, they didn't add Giganta to their hand last turn. That should have been, like, the big, oh, they got something realization. But I guess, to be fair, it also could have been, like, Leyline Binding. That would have messed us up. Alright. And we're so close to getting to do the thing. Maybe I need to be more patient with it. We're going to drown this so that if they find a uh, Scion of Draco, we can counterspell it. On the bright side, we're getting close to hard cast. Uh, Null Drifter territory. We could have countered the Ragavan trigger when it hits us. Alright, come on. Good card. I see. Oh, 
One more land and we're hard casting Null Drifter. We've got to just be sitting on like a ley line binding. Hardcast Null Drifter sounds better than Hardcast Murktide. I mean, Murktide doesn't draw you two cards or have Annihilator one. All I'm saying. I really don't want to go down to 10 knowing that they have uh, tribal flames in their deck. We've done it. We've gotten to hard cast Null Drifter point. We just have to, you know, like find the Null Drifter. I really want to shoot my opponent a message in chat and just be like, same fam. Have you given any thought to Chthonian Nightmare in Shadow? I mean, not as much thought as anybody else. Like, my big issue with Nightmare and Shadow is not that I think it's bad. It's that I don't think, um, I don't think there's enough, like, ETB abilities to take advantage of it and, like, good things to do with it. But I don't think sacking a Bowmaster token to get back a Shadow is worth it. Blind binding my dress down. Feels like. So I will consign to memory the ley line ETB. That's the play. Does anybody know off the top of their head with dress down if you can sign the dress down trigger to sack it is it like ragavan or where uh with dash that like it tries to leave again at the next instep or does it stick around Draws. Should trigger next in step. That's what I figured that it would be like Ragavan where it just triggers again the next chance it gets. Let's go for push on your up. Cool.
tribal flames my face. This puts me down to four. Sure. I know I have a drown in the lock coming off the top. So I will not be going to three and putting myself dead to bolt. Especially since it's not lethal. They're just going to go for double bolt on my upkeep. I was going to say, I might cry if they have, like, Bowmaster here. <laughs> I don't think the zoo lists are playing Bowmaster anymore, but... That would have been a probably come to tears moment. I was, like, playing this so patiently and so passively, and they're just like, ah, got you. All right, so I want Toxic Deluge because that's a good answer to Big Flying Dude, Scion. Spreading Seas is good. Subtleties, okay. Harbinger, okay. Sub could be okay. About these, how is... Territorial Kavu has its power and toughness in all zones, right? Because it's a uh, a star star. Yes. Alright. Making sure they didn't get hit with stern scolding. Like if Kavu and Neshoba Brawler and those got hit with stern scolding, that card would be nuts. Maybe I do want some number of force. Grim on some thought seeds. Bells a bit worse on the draw. Don't want all the toxic deluges. Like that. I also don't know if they're a leyline of the guild pack version of zoo or just like an old school normal domain zoo list. Opponent mulliganed. Our hand is not particularly good, so I think I'm going to follow suit. Better. Back. Sure. Uh, does Harbinger slash Magus lose to Layers versus Turn Zero Leyline? Uh, should be a time stamp issue, right? Not really Layers, it's just, oh, the Harbinger came in most recently, so it overwrites the effect of the other one. They're both Q 
giving a property to lands. So this is why I played the Undercity Sewers first. If my opponent had to fetch on turn two for like a Kavu or something, I could drown in the locket. A little less fortunate if they like dash a Ragavan, but... Meddling me. Hard. I didn't expect to get played right there. Meddling. Age of the meddling variety. Uh, I am going to keep the fatal push because I think that there's a reasonable chance I just like drown the mage next turn and then want fatal push after that. Like, if they play another two-drop here, probably really want both. Because, like, they bend a Stubborn Denial off that turn one parlor. So... I'm thinking, what does that mean? Okay. What's my play here? Like they're representing stubborn denial. So I could just go preordain Merc Tide. And just kind of say I can't beat a Leyline Binding. I could try to drown the Meddling Mage and if that resolves have push for the, the Kavu. Which would be the best position to be in. Like, there's no way you're binning a stub if that's the only thing you need. But then they're shocking here for, like, no real reason except to represent stub. So I think I'm going to go with uh, Preordained Merc Tide. Assume I'm gonna get leyline binded. I Fight over this. Okay. Round the meddling mage.
Okay. Go down to four. See if you have a tribal flames. I assume you do with how quickly you're just exiling instead of flipping a card. Brett. Shadow. Hmm. Not seeing a dress down there hurts a lot. Like dress down just kills Kavu on the spot. Yeah, that matchup against Mistaken did not go particularly well. Arn into double Tormod's crypt. Hurts. <laughs> Back. I feel like this is a keep on the chance that I get to like subtlety ambush or ragavan. Like dress down, draw a card, flash in subtlety, don't have to evoke it, block a ragavan or something. Might be thinking too far with that one. Let's see. Not thinking far enough. Under city sewers. Yeah, counter spells pretty good. So here I want to dress down on my own instep so they can't have stubborn denial up. Dang. If they just go to combat first. The bolt. <laughs> Ambush subtlety not to be underestimated. I'll just play a Kavu. Make me so happy by just casting a territorial Kavu here. Because it just slips your mind and you're not thinking about it dying. 
Dang. Mistaken coming in with the raid. You gotta whoop me and then come over to patronize me after that? Savage. <laughs> Hope you had an awesome stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're not too tired from beating up on me that badly. Uh, we'll just... Uh, so like that turn with the Karn and the double amulet I had a line there to just like knock the Karn down low enough to not be able to down tick and hit you with the Tarmogoyce and I think it ended up being a, or would have been a better line. I just, like, didn't see it in the moment. Lost the 5 out of Wizards. <laughs> wizards. Not a real deck. Ion of Draco. Ion of... Please get out of here. But for everybody coming over from Mistaken Stream, if you haven't been here before, my name's Michael or Control Freak on Magic Online. Play a lot of modern Death Shadow. Uh, I was digging for something badly. I just didn't find it. And then I think it was like that last game, I think I had Wraith, what was it, Wraith into um, Architect into a second Architect just like looking for a removal spell guess we should have played the land first bit of a punt we have Force of Negation if they go for like another Tribal Flames or something on their turn. What is with these meddling mages? Excuse me? Make sure I'm seeing that correctly. I believe that says the one ring. Alright. Shadow. Show me a shadow. Baby. That is a shadow. Let's go... Top, top, preordain again, bottom, top, lay out a shadow, the land say go, I'd much rather try to bait them into an attack that gets them killed if possible. I don't have to do this back and forth of like, can I attack? Do I have to stay back?
All right. Let's think here. If I just blocked the Neshoba Brawler. I'm still alive. Like, is this follow-up burn spell or is this follow-up? chump blocker and what can i beat if it's follow-up chump blocker if it's a scion i lose like if it's a scion i need to fatal push See if they do anything. They go for like a ley line binding after I declare blockers. Push here. This way, if it's a scion, they have to chump block and I'm not dead to the magus or the meddling mage on the way back. Steven, what's up? Been out of town all weekend, not getting back till tomorrow night. How's the stream been today? How's Shadow performing? Uh, stream's been good. We've 4-1 yesterday. Today it's been 3-2 uh, the first league. We lost to Mistaken on Amulet Titan, and we lost to uh, the Sultai Shadow Mirror in round one. That was fun. Um, and then, what did we beat? I don't even remember what we played against. But we're in the first match of round two right now. What did we play against? We beat Omnath. We beat... Something, and we beat something else. Sounds about right. Meddling Mage number two. Assume name Fatal Push. Maybe Drown. Doesn't really matter what you name with it that much because you're going to have to chump block with this one unless you're planning on like sitting back with both of them. Stubborn Denial doing. Care about Stubborn Denial? Show me. Something I can cast. Cast that one. Go into game three. Oh, never mind. That was game three. What do I know? <laughs> what else did we play against uh oh we beat white no red green coldotha altasaur convoke stuff and we beat like scanning down the modern list to see i really cannot remember what that last match was Uh, Rizzy Stream Decker is being a little temperamental at the moment, but I will post the deck list for you. I need to find a better source to uh, keep up with deck list because, like I said, Stream Decker has been a little, a little fidgety.
I love Stream Decker, but Stream Decker has not seemed to share this sentiment. All right, well, if this is indeed Yogg Moth, as GG Bot seems to believe, then probably in some trouble because this is not a great hand against Yogg Moth. As you can see by all the cards that aren't actually doing anything at the moment. Go get a Bowmaster. But then again, last time somebody in chat was 100% sure we were playing against Yogmoth, and that was the only thing it could be. It ended up being five color Omnath pile. All I'm saying. I could wait on the dress down, but like, I don't have a Null Drifter right now. There's no guarantee I'm going to find one. All right. That's actually really good for me. If they surveil something into the yard. Now I can actually start looking at double spelling. Seven. I say double spelling. Like, I can double spell Fatal Push plus, like, a counter spell. Start getting stuff in their yard so that I can maybe get Drown in the Lock online. Considering another Bowmaster. I think you should ignore every other line besides the line where you play Dress Down and Incept and then Untap played Moldrift. Well, first off, Moldrifter isn't in the deck, so your point is moot. Uh, second of all, I didn't have Null Drifter in hand, so it's kind of hard to play the line that involves the thing that I don't have. Uh, thirdly, you know, when I figure out what thirdly is, but I want to just like fatal push one of these bowmasters. What? I, uh, yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. Are they just over here like, what does this mean? <laughs> Shot my bowmaster. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? We do have a couple copies of... Um... Burk tied in the deck. Pretty good in these kind of spots.
Got an endurance. White of the Reliquary. Five, five, Vigilance. Sack a dude, tutor up a land. Is that something I need to be absolutely terrified of? Right this second. I hope not. This is not a card that I would have expected Yogmoth to play. But again, maybe this isn't Yogmoth. What do I know? I'm just a simple man who casts simple death shadows. Alright, so maybe it actually is Yogmoth. Uh, maybe it actually is. This Murktide's currently a 6-6. Six, six. Don't think I can go too crazy. Wipe this away. Kind of cheeky. Somebody to look up how many battle rages we have in this deck. Tell me why it's not all of them. Why are we not mono battle rage? No. Okay. A wire mizite. Just attacking with Murktide, or do I need to attack with a Shadow too? Does attacking with a Shadow do anything for me? Get up to an 8-8. wants to start sacking off blockers for lands without me actually having to attack. I'm, I think I'm okay with that.
Fetch lands are good. Not for me, for them. Fetch lands are good for them. Silly deck. Make sure in true MH3 fashion, this doesn't have some line on here that's like, oh, if you have seven or less life, it gets flying, first strike, life link, trample, protection from instance. I feel like if they had a shifting woodland to get, they would have already gotten it. Instead of like, what did they get last turn? Like a Besaitu or no? They got like a Catacombs or Forest or something. Or no, they got Dryad Arbor. That's right. I feel like they would have gotten that already if they had a Woodlands. And even if they did, I don't know. It, I guess they could copy Yawgmoth. Uh, but they also don't have Delirium. I thought Shadow sucks. Does it not? Are we living in a simulation? <laughs> Yep. You'll upkeep fetch, thin the deck. I like it. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Tap two untapped creatures you control. Reveal a card from your hand or the top of your library. That's so many sick. Uh, sure. That doesn't kill me directly. Not really need to waste a counter spell on it. Shuffle away the top card, sure. Yay! I don't know what I did, but yay! <laughs> Get it. <laughs> okay. I want Disruptor Flute. I want Stern Scolding. I want Toxic Deluge. Don't want Stubborn Denial. Don't want Force of Negation. I think... Counterspell is... Slightly... Worse than Drown. If they have Endurance, then they both suck, but Drown being able to kill something on board is relevant. Like, if at any point that uh, White had gotten out of hand, I could have Drowned to kill it. But they also just look like way more fair creature-based. I don't know if I want consigned to memory. Counter like an undying trigger.
Kinda meh. Develop that one. Keep it. Well, having the uh, this water undercity sewers thing in my hand kind of sucks, but. Turn off auto yields in case for whatever reason they tutor up like a um, a dryad arbor or just fatal push it there. Fetch up like a watery grave. I don't really care if they flash in a bowmaster here because I'm not planning on countering bowmaster anyway. Absolutely planning on holding stern scolding for like a grist. I'll take out Bowmaster and tokens and stuff with Deluge, but I need Stern Scolding for Grist. Run Grist. Can't run green, black, and modern without grist, right? So I can fatal push the bow master in response to this. Okay ish. So does this mean they're like for sure Nadu or is this kind of a still they could be Nadu, they could be something else, we don't really know. Like, it's just normal, old-fashioned Yawgmoth gonna play this. Got a deluge. Suck if they have a Grist to, to play, but I feel like if they had a Grist, last turn was the turn to play it. I'm tapped off of Counterspell. I guess they could have been playing around Stern Scolding, but that's like a pretty specific one to play around. We'll wait. It's another Bowmasters. Not really much of a reason to throw my shadow out for free. That we can counter. 
It doesn't get the plus X plus X until it's actually on the battlefield. Okay. Uh, so let's evoke Null Drifter. Curious on the Null Drifter here. We trying to abuse dress down. We are. We're just really, really bad at drawing the dress down part. <laughs> <laughs> like, really bad at drawing it. <laughs> Fatal push, a curse marauder. Let's take the push. No. Take the marauder. Because we do have, like, Merc Tide in the deck. But yeah, the the deck is trying to abuse like the dress down null drifter synergy or combo. Um, but like I said, we have done a very very poor job of finding the half of that that really you know stands out when you're seeing all the null drifters. We like didn't see dress downs at all against Zoo. We're not really seeing them against Yogmoth. It's kind of funny. Um, uh, but it, on the bright side, at least Null Drifter is like a raw two, so not the worst thing to have in hand. Why do you hate me? Gonna go all this time, see all these Null Drifters, get 20 cards down, and then, then we find the dress down. There you've got a fatal push. I really feel like I'm not even countering. Slide. Countering. How dare you think for a second I was going to let that resolve? Sitting here saying I'm going to let it resolve. They haven't gotten a dry at Arbor yet. I wonder if they boarded it out. Okay. Want to deluge and like get through the damage? The disruptor flutes are for like Yog Moth, uh, Wrist, Soul Cauldron. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's reset Moto real quick. It's been a little laggy. Wonder what would that would say about the archetype if we end up like four wanting or trophying or something with uh the null drifter package without ever like doing the thing. If Null Drifter is just a three mana draw to the entire league. If we never see dress down. <laughs>
But for the most part, my concern with uh, a list like this is kind of that the Null Drifter package is spending a bunch of mana and time for a 4-4 flyer that's fine. But then the Annihilator 1, I feel like, doesn't matter at all. I think most decks are just, like, playing out to the board too aggressively too much for that to actually matter. So then you are just saying, okay, how does taking my turn two and three off for a 4-4 four, four flying threat that draws two cards, is that worth it? Mono Blackburn. Hmm. I really need to dig for shadow. To a two two something do the minute um I'm gonna go for the thought sees if they got like soul spike go ahead and get it out of hand oh right, they kept a one lander Their bloom command. Islands, we can preordain. Alright, so the Reckoner flips. If we can find a shadow, like right now, we've got a reasonable chance. Shadow. Shadow. I gotta say, I think as soon as they hit the second land, we're pretty dead. Unless we hit the shadow. Is, I guess, what we came here for.
Am still jamming. All right. So if I go for dress down here, drifting 2 0 without ever actually doing anything relevant to the Null Drifter stuff. Which has been kind of funny. Like, if I go for the Null Drifter right here, this would be the first time that we've actually cast the Null Drifter. Am I supposed to? Or am I supposed to try to dig for a shadow? We didn't come here to not do the thing. I was going to say, give me a force negation. Kill you. Say go. You get a bolt to my face if you want it. I I just need you to whiff as they keep a card on top of their library. There. <laughs> That's not resolving. Their hand is Lightning Bolt Chancellor. Lightning Bolt Chancellor. 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 We managed to come back from this. I will absolutely consider it one of the greatest comebacks of my magic career. We have no business being in this game. They're at a virtual 20 with the Machinations. We are at a virtual counter anything that gets put on the stack. It's one less land we have to worry about. Takes Witherbloom Command out of the equation. Uh, this is getting stubbed. That will let us cast Preordain. This do. May exile a black card with mana value X from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Bird creature gets minus X minus X. So I have to just let this resolve. I can't afford to not have counter spell. Same thing. Sickening, Shoal. That was pretty sickening. <laughs> this battlefield, each man discards a card and loses two life. No. Don't think I will.
Counterspell. Um, we do have Stubborn Denials. There's no way we get away with this, right? See one brick in your next two cards. Never mind. Go. Show it to me. Show it to me. Bless. Bless. <laughs> Ugh. Horrible, horrible match. Match up. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated. So I could name like Gonti's Machinations. Kind of narrow. Maybe I want subtlety for the dress down synergy, like just flash in a. Three, 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 flyer. Get a clock going. Probably buy that. Okay. Let's see what happens. And in the face of uncertainty, just click submit. Hope for the best. Have a hard time throwing back a hand with a shadow and a thought seize. Especially when opponents on a mulligan. Gonti's machinations. Gonti's Soul Spike. Take Thorin, because I've got a bunch of answers to Necro Dominance. Discard a card, lose two life. Discard a swamp, because it's not doing anything to help me. Two life. Cool. 
Bloom command. Got it. Definitely gives that feel of uh trying to play around stub. You should be terrified when your shadow opponent, like, knows they're up against something with burn. And just, like, fetch shock. Fetch shock. Go to five, fetch shock. I'll definitely dress down at the end of their turn. I don't know if I'm going to go for the cast Null Drifter. Like, I don't think Null Drifter is doing more for me than just, like, holding up mana. We'll see. We shall see. It also kind of depends on if it speeds up the clock at all. If I need it. Ride two to the top. So if they go Gonti's Machinations Resolve or cast Necro Dominance What does this look like for me? They cast they Resolve Machinations cast Necro Dominance go to 13 I stub End of turn, dress down. So they have to sack this Machinations. So I think I let this resolve. Do they choose to just not cast Necro Dominance? Also fine. Feel like you kind of have to. Stub the Necro Dominance. Turn, go for Dress Down, and they have to sack one of the Machinations or they just die. Pretty good. Another blue card would be perfect. Another blue card would be perfect, he says.
Carry on. Two cards. I'm at a virtual three. Soren doesn't do anything. But let Soren resolve. Kill Soren. Should be GG. On to three and O with the uh Noel Drifterless Noel Drifter. <laughs> Who needs Noel Drifter? We have to have that's what I'm saying. Like, if we end up doing really well in this league. Without doing the Null Drifter stuff, then that should be a pretty good testament to, to Shadow. Like that first game against Mono Black there was the first game that we've actually done the dress down Null Drifter thing. And the like the part that involved uh annihilating didn't actually matter it was just like attacking with a 4-4 four, four. all four of our watery graves so that's kind of cool i guess Some sort of energy shenanigans. Like blue white control or something. I don't know if they run to the narrative or just just guy energy. Change the null drifter to TBR. Null drifter doesn't do anything. Does TBR do something? <laughs> All right. So yeah, I guess this is just like best guy energy. Got a force negation, so we're going to uh, to cast a null drifter. Discarded deluge. And it does nothing. Are they just sitting on a bunch of like galvanic discharges and um, stuff like that? only guess they got like some wrath of the skies or whatever and some flages
Hmm. Sure. Ah. You've got it. Really hoping to hit a land there. Not happen. No. Needs more Tamio. I agree. Apparently, I'm like the only Tamio supporter around. Is a shame. Hit me with your best flage. Why don't you hit me with your best flage? Hit me with your best flage. Fire away. Lyrics. Out of flage. All right, and it to fairy because I can't do much else. Solitude. Sure. Age. Age time now. Hard. Definitely a real magic card. Like, what are the odds that they didn't hit a copy of Solitude there? Like, exactly zero? By zero, I mean 100%. You only get to draw, like, 75 cards here. Haven't done the math, but I assume that's accurate. Tap, then you draw four, then you tap, then you five, and then you tap, then you six.
Are we discarding? <laughs> Begin. Force of negation. Solitude. I was kidding. I was absolutely kidding about force negation there. But I guess in your one ring deck you can kind of afford to. Gross. Okay. Well at least we get to get some of these fatal pushes and stuff out of our deck going into game two. Corruptor flutes, consigns, subtlety, dub, bushes, deluge, can. It'd be crazy to trim like a dress down. Even trim a shadow if I think they're they have solitude. Assume they have solitude, but what do I know? Doesn't have all four watery graves in hand. Instantly better. Gonna say, do they actually have something on turn one? I think I'm gonna fire off this dress down. Mr. Blue White Pro Player. Cool. I don't think you have to be too much of a pro player to win with uh Solid or with Teferi and the one ring and drawing like eleven extra cards, but I get it. <laughs>
I don't think I've ever played against them. At least I don't recognize the name. Yeah, plenty of people out there I don't know or recognize. Could get Disruptor Flute value. Subtlety, Narset, Galvanic Discharge, Orion Reveal. Gonna take Subtlety. Got a one ring. Hmm. Gonna need less, uh, less lands, more shadows and murk tides if we want to have a chance here. Shadow, Murktide, Null Drifter. All those uh those good cards in our deck. More thought sees. Maybe I need to just jam now. Maybe Harbinger's worth it to bring in. Maybe... I also feel like just 
finding like some null drifters and shadows and things would be worthwhile. But I'm also kind of at the point where I think I need to just jam. Like if he's got a dead card or two in hand, then I might be able to just like outvalue. But I also need to find another threat. I've only seen one creature so far. One creature, one preordain. On Shadow Merktide. I guess you can counter a ward trigger. All right. Like, I feel like if one of these cards in their hand is like a one ring, then finding one threat would allow us to pull ahead. Okay. Two, three, five, Merc I just want to stifle the ETB. What do we got? Or Celestial Purge Nars.
Are we frozen? I think mouse went dead. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a plug in right below us. All right. We're pushing the advantage while I can. <laughs> He's undoing into the yard. Okay. I wonder how much different this game would have been if I just waited for him to like use the ring one time and then disruptor fluted so that they just be pinging themselves every turn. I probably need to keep that in mind for like game three. If we get to game three. Um, not resolving. I feel like this is throwing the game, but now that Narset's down, I just don't think there's anything I can really do. Like, I can't afford to just sit back and not... not force the issue. And if they attack with the Hall of Storm Giants, like... kind of fucked regardless. Yep. <laughs> to find more threats. Let me draw my card. Oh well. Rough one. I feel like we had so many good spots in that match. I really do think I should have forced the issue with the uh, the subtlety when I knew they had one galvanic blast or whatever galvanic, whatever the card is, um, and just tried to like force down the subtlety and counter it. Then maybe I could have gotten like three, six points of damage in or something before they drew the second one. And just didn't. Of 
Boros Energy, A. Eh? Take an amp raptor. Okay. So, Flage, we'll let them, uh, can't quite activate a soul or a guide. On top. What would they keep on top here? Island. One of these souls, because so at least they can't get that rolling. They might have kept another land on top for Flage. That wouldn't be that surprising. So if I, if they have a land, they get back Flage, I'm at nine, they attack with Guide, put the counters on it, it's a three, four, I'm at six, five if I fetch here, virtual two to the lightning bolt. Virtual 2's not dead. If I preordain hit a shadow. Doesn't really help my position. Eight, five. I think I have to like top deck another fatal push and just kill the two creatures. That's like my only out. Oh no, I can't even do that because I only have one basic swamp. Dead. Uh, just too slow out of the gates. All right, we got deluges, we got stern scolding. Redding season subtlety aren't bad, like subtletying a phage or spreading seizing uh, a land puts them off a turn from phage and replaces itself. 
Popsies, pretty mad. Force negations, pretty mad. I just cut the consigned to memories. I would love to play first. Um, yeah, I mean, it's slow, but if Preordain finds a second land, we're kind of cooking a little bit. Try and get into Merktide. Step one complete. I was going to make some stupid comment about, oh, maybe they don't have a guide of souls on turn one. See where that would have gotten me. Spelling this. I kind of want to use my instance pretty proactively to get to Merktide. This. Game of your instep, if you gain life this turn, make a 1-1 one, one cat, and then you have the city's blessing. Reach token. I don't know if make a copy. Is it crazy to like fetch shock dress down? Or I guess I could just get an island dress down. Want better. Want. Three here, go to 12, Deluge for two. I was about to say, if that lets him like exile it from the graveyard. Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. Okay.
Uh, that gave me... <laughs> that gave me ferocious. I think they should have galvanic discharged their own cat to flip a Johnny. Or no, then they would have lost a creature. Never mind. That's bad. Don't listen to me. I know. How close are they to City's Blessing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One or more cats you control die. Kill you. Take out the cat. Play the Merc Tide. Two. Five. Don't think Containment Priest is uh, quite where you're wanting to be this matchup. Game 3 versus Red White Kitty Cats. So I thought it was Boros Energy. I don't know if... I've never seen Boros Energy playing like a Johnny and the... Ocelot, the one mana cat. So those are new to me. There's really anything I can change sideboarding wise. Try to limit the board state, find a deluge. Can't throw it back. Please be a guide of souls, not an ocelot. All right, show me a land. Any land, I'll even take the uh, the Undercity Sewers. Hello? Did say any land, didn't I? Really got to specify with Magic Online. It's a fickle program. If it doesn't hear you say blue land, you're not getting a blue land.
How many copies of Blage do we think are in their hand? Okay. Deluge for two would be kind of nice. Mm. Is Demir Drifter real? Can it hurt me? Define real. <laughs> like, we're three and one, but we've only done the, uh, the dress down Null Drifter thing once and it didn't matter. All the other times or all the other games have just been like play Death Shadow. Uh, I really don't want to drown here. All right. Land. Land for Deluge. Funny deck. Funny. You're saying it's a winner? In in some circles, they might say that's the case. In this circle right here, TBD. I'm kind of basing my judgment off whether or not I find this land for Deluge. Or go to seven. And... Basic Island, Basic Island, Basic Island, Basic Island. <laughs> oh, nobody ever say Moto doesn't have a sense of humor. I'm going down to three. <laughs> ah, Odo, you fickle mistress. <laughs> All right, I understand. I kept a one lander it's on me to some extent. Chess nice to us. I know what Malira is out of that. Okay. What do we think of Null Drifter Shadow? Um like I said during that last match we won three, we played competitively in the fourth, like the fifth actual match, but then that blue-white controller, like Jess Guy energy control one was kind of rough. Uh, the Null Drifter dress-down package, I'm pretty sure did absolutely nothing. Like, 
Null Drifter could have been Archmage's charm and had the same effect. And Dress Down was just like two mana draw one. We never Shadow Dress Downed or never needed to. I think we did once, but we didn't need to. Um, we sh dressed down Null Drifter once, and it didn't matter against the Mono Black Burn player. And yeah, that was about it. Otherwise, ridiculously slow and clunky. Like taking two turns off in two of the most important turns of the game is a really big ask that I don't think you can afford to do. Um, I wish it was better. I think Null Drifter's sweet. Maybe if you use it more as like a late game combo finish, like you got four mana, dress down, hold up a counter spell, untap, Null Drifter, hold up a counter spell. But even then, like the Annihilator's even less relevant at that point. The clock's even slower than just playing a Merc Tide. So, yeah, I really think like the best part of the deck was Merc Tide. So I just cut the Null Drifter dress down for more Merc Tide, more stuff that goes with Merc Tide. But then you're just playing normal Demir Shadow. So it's unfortunate that that little synergy didn't seem to pair out too well. But otherwise, the rest of the deck's always fun. Like Thoughtseize's Shadow looked great. Force Negation, I do think, has looked really good in these blue-black matches. Uh, from the sideboard, Stern Scolding, fine. Spreading Seas, I wouldn't mind replacing those, but I still haven't found something I like. Disruptor Flute was good against One Ring. Toxic Deluge was fantastic when we saw three lands, but you don't see three lands. Toxic Deluge, probably not the most impressive card to have access to.